Like many other professions, there's little doubt that accountancy is undergoing a transformation, not only in terms of expectations, but also, importantly, in potential. Reporter Nick Wallace caught up with a man who's no stranger to change, the recently retired chairman of HSBC, Douglas Flint, to find out his views on where accountancy is heading. I think maybe if you told us about your experience of being an accountant and a management accountant and how it's changed over the years, what your understanding of it has changed and how you've seen the business change. What have, in your career, how have you seen that change happen? Well, I started my career in, in, in on the professional side in one of the accounting firms and I joined HSBC in 95 as the finance director, so effectively getting much more involved in management accounting. A number of things have changed. I think people are looking for much more insight as opposed to simple factual reporting. And I think the, the quantity and quality of data that we've now got to work with is considerably better and our ability to analyze it and manipulate it is considerably enhanced through technology than it ever was. So we're able to do more with the raw information. What sort of skills do the people in that side of the business now need to develop and how, do, how should businesses be developing them? I think the, most important, the two most important skills that, that I think people need is they need, a, they need an understanding of strategy because again otherwise the information that they produce and how they present it is, is, is very shallow in terms of its depth. I, I think they also need to be good communicators. It's not a question of saying well the number is this, it's the number is this and what does it mean and what do we do with it and how can I help you interpret it and if you give me some guidance as to what other things you would like to do, I can find ways of giving you numbers that will help you make that decision. So you need to understand you need to understand the strategy and you need to be able to communicate and, and have that dialogue with the decision makers as to what kind of information would help me make the decisions that are relevant to my job. We've talked a lot around the data and you've mentioned how much data is being produced nowadays because we've got so many ways of measuring different parts of the market and the information that's flowing in all the time can be overwhelming. So I guess the analytical skills and the ability to synthesize data and then present it to people outside of the accountancy function is again crucial. Well, you're looking for insights. You're, saying, you're not saying what is the data? That's relatively mechanical now. What you're saying is what does the data tell us? And I think technology is on the cusp of, of giving us much, more, much, much more uh, assistance in doing that in the sense that what uh, artificial intelligence and mach machine learning can do is take a, a, almost unquantifiable amounts of data, uncorrelated or not disorganized, and say in this huge amount of data here are the correlations that can be seen by analyzing the data. So we may think that this particular way of marketing a product is working but actually the data tells us um, that, that it's much more correlated to something else. So rather than have a proposition and prove it, what technology can now do is say, these are the correlations. Now you go away and say, what's driving them? And I think it's very, very exciting. I can understand how this works for huge global corporations. Can the model shrink right down to the very smallest business? Absolutely. And, and I think, you know, accountancy in a way is, uh, is, is one of these words that, that sort of stops any dinner party conversation, whereas data management is sort of new and sexy. And, 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 and accounting is really just, you know, a really uh, focused part of data management. And I think data analytics, data uh, management, um, data integrity is, is, is fundamental to business. And people are beginning to see many, many more possibilities for the management of data, of which financial data is but one, but one very important part. So management accounting or management reporting or even better integrated reporting is actually managing data. People will in businesses find out things they've never known before, the data will, will have been there, but we wouldn't have the, the capability to analyze it. So that, that I think is, uh, is very exciting. The, the, what I would say too is, is, is challenge things. I mean, the great thing about the accounting mind is it's there to challenge. If, you, if simply all you're doing is, is, is you know, reading the football scores, you're not doing very much. But if you're challenging the information where you get information, what is that telling me? Not just what it is it, what does it tell me? What does it tell me about the past? What does it tell me about the future? So be challenging and, and you know, the status quo will be changed because of technology. Nowadays, stakeholders have varying expectations from the companies that they're invested in. How can management accountancy help with that? I think it's essential that it does. I mean, I think stakeholder expectations are considerably broader than they were in the past. So it's not just about measuring financial performance, it's about looking at social impact, whether that's in environmental 
or, or governance terms or indeed in terms of the footprint from carbon emission or whatever. Do you think there needs to be something of a culture shift within boardrooms in understanding that, that it's not just down to management accountancy to bring the, the numbers to the table, but also the wider impact of the business and an understanding of that? No, I think that the, it, it's certainly going to be an evolution and it's going to improve, but I think uh, um, the strategic review that, that companies now produce, the, the fact that there is uh, much greater uh, focus in the governance area on social impact. I think boards are well aware of it. Um, management accounting has a big role to play in terms of giving them a broader set of information, a broader, a broader set of metrics. Uh, and, and the trend in those metrics to help them be able to articulate, no, we've thought about this and, and, and this is how uh, we interact with society, this is how it's moving, this is where we expect to get to, and this is why we are a good contributor to society. Because I think, you know, just saying we make money nowadays is actually a very shallow piece of reporting to shareholders, saying we make money because we delight our customers and that's why the business is sustainable, is something you want to be able to say. Douglas, thanks very much indeed for your time. It's been my pleasure. Thank you.